Okay guys, hey, welcome to The Travels of the Dung Beetle, a little game by Louis Zong, um, who I believe is some sort of animator or just artist in general on um, the Cartoon Network show We Bear Bears, which I've only, like, I think I've watched once. Seems pretty okay. Um, but this guy makes really nice art. I found his Tumblr, I found this game, um, and I figured I would play it because I kind of wanted to get back into these little cutie things here. Um, although some of them are less cute and more bad, but whatever. Point is, this one's really nice because it's like very simple. I love the visuals and the music is actually very good as well. Um, hope that the mix is cool, but here we go. Let's play it. I poked around a little bit. It's um, kind of like a Katamari game. You need to roll up the things. Oh, I missed that. Um, you need to roll up these little blobs um, because with your poop blobs. <laughs> um, come here. You're trying to get to all 10 of them. Just get 10 and then you progress to the next place. Oh, we can kind of poke through the geometry of the level there and go a little out of focus, but hey, it's a game jam game. Those things are never perfect, so whatever, it's good enough. <laughs> it works, which is more than some people can say about some of their games. <coughs> Excuse me, uh, and I'm not trying to make that happen on purpose, actually, it's just very accidental. But yeah, this is really cute. Like I said, I like it. The music is very, very nice. Um, the design is cute. A little beetle guy there going, rolling, rolling. Um, oh, come on. We need to get up that hill. Get up that hill. Get up that hill. No. This is taking a lot longer than it did the last time I tried this. <laughs> Go, go, speed, go, go fast, we come on. Go collect that poop. <laughs> okay, come on. There, woo, we did it. Okay, new level, new soundtrack. Um, are you kidding me? The only thing that I would say about this so far is that, um, I wish the controls were a little tighter. Um, I guess it was more... <laughs> if you've ever played um, any of the Katamari games, I wish the controls were more like that. Because those controls are fantastic. They're a little bit... Oh, they are... Um, no. This is going to be confusing to say, because I was going to say, they are tank controls. They are tank controls in the sense of your driving is done with two sticks, much like, to my knowledge, what a tank is driven like, where you have individual controls for a tank, you know, in a situation where it has two treads, you have individual controls for each tread. So if you hold both of your treads buttons forward, the tank will go forward. If you hold one of them forward, another one reverse, your tank will turn very sharply. That kind of thing. That's what tank controls are. Tank controls are also used in terms of like classic Resident Evil games, where you have to push your character forward, is the only thing you can go forward and backwards, and your other controls are dealing with turning left and right. You guys probably know this if you're watching a game thing on YouTube. I'm assuming that you know a little bit about games. I don't know why I explained it to you. Like I said, I bet that you probably knew it. Anyways, we're missing about talking about this really cutesy pond thing with um, big waterfalls, tiny ducks, and then surprise a big duck. A oh, big duck. Quack, quack, quack. Big yellow duck and cute music. Sounds like, kind of like the intro to maybe like a Sufjan Stevens song to me. Um, and then we are now definitely, I mean, this game is kind of wearing its um, inspiration on its sleeve, I suppose, because it's very Katamari-esque. Now it's just like, 
Welcome to Katamari, but with a beetle rolling poop in space. Right? Right? Right. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. But seriously, if you don't know what I'm talking about, oh my god, get your chance, get your hands on Katamari. Any of them, really, they're all good, because they're all basically the same game, but I can't get enough of them. I love Katamari games. Given the chance, I would totally play one on this channel. This is about as good as we're going to get for now, though. But it's okay, because this game is cute as heck. And if you didn't know things about me, one of the things you should know about me is I'm a sucker for cute-as-heck visual design and great music. And I'm a big, big, strong, scary man who loves his cute, tiny, cute shit. Like how cute this is. Look at this. Cute. It is very cute. Um, but that's the end. It's a short little game. This is nice, too. It's a little game jam game, I think. And it's got a little conclusion to it. It's over. You know, we say, says, yeah, it looks like we found a good spot in space. <laughs> good night, Dung Beetle. Sleep tight. And thanks for playing. Hey, man, thanks for make, because this was a cute, cute game, and I like this guy's thing. Oh, I should try to be more informed, because he has a Tumblr, and you can check it out, because he's got drawings a day, and, like, some of the drawings have cute little music tracks that it goes with them, and it's wonderful. It'll probably be in... There'll be a link in the description for it. There will definitely, because... I'm fucking up and can't remember it. Anyway, I've been Dark Smiter. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I will like, I mean, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys with whatever video comes out next.